In this video we're going to take um, a further look at, uh, at what SQL can do and see some nice little syntax for doing some uh, some book work, so, so some bookkeeping so to speak, as well as getting some uh, some nice summary statistic uh, data sets. Um, to do this we're going to create a new data set and just to keep ourselves fresh we're going to do it by direct input so I'm going to put in the MAT008 library I'm going to call it example and I'm going to have five variables, one called variable 1, which will be a string, and one called variable 2, variable 3, which will be a string, variable 4, and variable 5, which will be a string. Um, input the data uh, here, so a1, a1, 2, b, um, the same row. Sometimes you, you, when dealing with big data sets, for various reasons, you might have duplicates of the same row. One of the points of this video is to see how to to deal with that. B one a um, B one a one. C. Let me get rid of this one here only five variables. Um, another one, C to B, these are just made up obviously, um, but hopefully they'll uh, they'll help make everything clear. Um, and then I'll run statement. Let's run that code check our libraries, uh, oops, wrong one, check example, we've got that exact data set. Okay, so this is the data set we're going to use, nothing too, too special. Um, so let's, uh, let's use SQL, so proc SQL, which is calling in the SQL procedure, and then we're going to use the syntax we've seen before, so we're going to create a table, and we're going to call this table example, but note, I'm leaving out the library, so it's going to the work library, as, and now I select all my variables, and so normally if I want all the variables, I'll just say uh, select star. So let's um, let's run that from mat 8 example, and then a quit statement. So if I run that, and we go to our work library, we just have a copy of the data set, right? Now, I can put in an option here, so see my mouse says I'm back on the select field, I can put in the option distinct. So if I run that, let me look at that, you see I only have four rows, whereas looking at the data set here, I did have five. So it's picked up all the rows as long as they were all different, okay? And that first row here, they're the same, right? So that's just a simple distinct word. Um, keyword. So we can also do this by selecting particular variables. So proc SQL um, create table example as select distinct var1. Remember it's commas here, which is different to normal SAS syntax. var2, var3. So I, I want ones where var1, var2, and var3 are, are different from MAT. 008 dot example and then I'll run statement. Just close that. Remember always good practice to, to close those. Screw the same thing but only selected the the three variables. Um, I could obviously change this and say I I just want var one and I also just want distinct ones. So if I run that, so you've just got A, B, C. Okay? Um, right, we can also use a, a where statement to, uh, to select variables that obey a particular condition. So proc SQL create table example as select everything, so we're not going to worry about whether or not they're distinct, from MAT008 dot 
example, and then we put in this statement, where var 2 is less than or equal to var 4. Okay, so here var 2 is always less than or equal to var 4, and if we go back to my card statement here, we're missing out this one here. Um, possibly another one? No, that's, that's it. Okay. Right. And then finally what we want to do in this uh, in this example um, oh, there's two more things. Sorry. So firstly how to order a data set. So let's try that. So proc SQL um, close this and so this is basically just sorting data sets proc SQL create table example as select everything from mat008.example and now we just have order by so let's take a look at what what we'd like to order this on well how about we order it on variable 4 order by variable 4 okay and then I'll run statement so if I run that we see it is indeed reordered everything um, and it's automatically ordered them and other things but you could reorder them as well if you wanted to do that as in you could put various variables here our example doesn't really end itself well to that now the final thing we're going to see in this video is how to use SQL to get aggregations of summary statistics. So proc SQL creates table example as um, and I want to select everything but we're also going to create a new variable. So we're going to create a variable called mean var 2 so the mean of our variable 2, I'm going to call this average var 2. So this mean var 2 is just a normal um, SAS function here. Okay? Now we say where we're coming from. So we're coming from mat 8 example, And then I'll run statement. Let's create a new a new variable average var2 which is 1.4 which is the average of variable 2 but note that that's created the same entry everywhere so it's not necessarily the most um, the most useful output but this can be very easily addressed I'll just change the code here um, what we what we include is a group by so I'm going to say I want to group this on variable one and in fact I don't want everything I just want that average and I want variable one so in effect um, this will give us a very nice little table let me get rid of that semicolon there and a run statement okay and so that gives the averages um, we could change the function to be anything else we want and so that's pushing SQL a little bit further. Of course, SQL can be used for, for various other things. Um, and in the next video, we're going to see how to join tables with SQL, which is uh, basically merging tables on, on steroids.